Uh, Chie. About yesterday. We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y Yukiko san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man, what should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? CBD? Yeah, it's totally real and totally <laughs> organic. <laughs> I love it. You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The Dark Web. The person on TV yesterday. I, I think it was Yukiko. That kimono, it looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. You mean the kimono she wears all the fucking time when she's not in school uniform? What? Yeah. What? I can't believe it. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. It's oh okay. Oh my god, this game showing his age. I emailed her. I didn't text her because <laughs> texting was that popular. No one checks your emails, man. <laughs> <clears throat> it wasn't that weird period in between where she's like, I am'd her last night, no response. <laughs> I messaged her on MySpace last night. MySpace. Yeah, Yosuke, I mean, Yosuke doesn't seem better. like here, a. Here. I sent her a tweet last night. But she hasn't <laughs> responded. A tweet, huh? Yos Yosuke doesn't seem like a Twitter user. He seems like a MySpace user. Nah, totally a tweeter. Tweeter, huh? Yeah. That's what they no, call I think he's more of a Redditor, guys. <laughs> Shit poster. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> He's a shit posting Rainbow Six Siege player. Yeah. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I. Calm down. We get the picture, and you still haven't heard from her. No. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for you. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Hmm, thrown? More like kidnapped, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her a call. Better yet, give Yosuke her phone number so that he can call her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll help her answer. Better call Saul. <laughs> no good. Her voicemail picked up. She's she's not answering. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko san inside that place? Stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the inn. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell phone if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Good question. Does she prefer being at the inn where she can slack off? Or does she want to come to school? Oh, you think she slacks off at the inn, huh? No, <laughs> not at all. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um... I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Yukiko whatever. <laughs> oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see. Uh, uh. Nah, it, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll, I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. Slacking off said... as usual. <laughs> see? See? They said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah, totally slacking. I knew it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Now that I think about it, this 
has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. Oh, for crying out loud, Yosuke. You got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, Is Yukiko-san inside that place? Hmm. Sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But you can cause I'm still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Everybody loves Juness. <laughs> She's doing it on purpose, guys. She's doing it on purpose. <laughs> you explain to you in detail again about what happened last night. Oh, okay. I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah, too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Or sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear is wandering around the entrance anyway. H.E.A., stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Yosuke okay, is now orange. <laughs> you tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. What's wrong? Not so loud, you idiot! <laughs> this lady's right. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no. Yes. I want my mommy. <laughs> Does that bear have rabies? I might need to get checked out. Probably. <laughs> I think he has more than just rabies. Remember, he has an empty head. I will say this, if I start foaming at the mouth, it's not rabies, it's because of Yosuke. Ah. <laughs> I'm just hey kidding. <laughs> That's good. Sheesh. That stupid bear must have done it. What? Foaming at the mouth because of Yosuke is good? <laughs> yes. Have you seen his buns of steel? Hey you! We know you're in there! Oh, oh, is this a game? No, this is not a game. I Can you sense anyone in there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear like always. This land feels so barren. Mm. <laughs> I fucking hate my life. <laughs> Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? Stop lying! My nose is running as good as ever! Hmm. Uh. Do you need a tissue? I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah, you'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? 
Mist. <laughs> Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. Mr. Mawuka, is that you? <laughs> what you? What's your cell number? I'll call you when we watch it tonight. <laughs> oh, for real? So that's how easy it is to get a guy's number, guys. Possible yeah. murder. <laughs> Possible nerve murders, and then you ask. Or bro, just like tell the homies like, hey, yo, you got a Lego set? Oh shit, yo, Star Wars? Yeah, what's your phone number? <laughs> you, ex <laughs> you exchange cell numbers for seals again. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really you could go who appeared last night? Huh. You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. For research purposes. You know, not including any purposes of, you know, I want to stay up till midnight again. Oh, look, looks like we failed to all we're going to find you. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if it's a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic, and now we have the second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that is true, what the hell is going on? You know, I I, I thought at first it's all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer Mizuzu Hiragi has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Haragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had a murder. If they had murder on their mind, got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much he, we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but we, he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think he skipped some of it. I don't think so. Yeah. It, it looked like he pr pressed it. Yeah. I didn't see anything different. I don't know. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namate's career has also been killed stone dead. He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konashi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse, but I don't buy the killer shutting her up as possible motive. She was killed well after reported the bot. Uh, she was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points a motive, but coincidences like that are common in town as small as ours. Yeah. I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the end already out? Okay, I got it. So, how's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. 
and our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp, it has to be someone with an Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Pretty sure it's this woman's intuition. Thank mm. you very much. Hi, Yosuke. Oh, Sorry yes, for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. What? <laughs> I like how he's Amazing. leaking. 